Hi, welcome back or welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a simple slide before and after transition effect in Final Cut Pro. If you find this helpful, feel free to subscribe. But without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so let's say that you you know, created a lot or something um, like I did, and you applied it to your footage. I actually applied it to the adjustment layer. I have a whole video going over how to create an adjustment layer for Final Cut Pro, so definitely feel free to check that out. But yeah i created this let's say i want to show like a before and after thing very easily right well i would come down to this footage hold down options that's the easiest method hold down options and then drag this above everything else yes above everything else so I will have the before footage right there. I will have this adjustment layer. And then I will have the after. So that's very brilliant. Technically, you can do it without the adjustment layer if you really want. I did find it more convenient to apply certain things to adjustment layer. That's just a personal preference of mine. But yeah, we will go over here to the very beginning of this. Right here, make sure this is selected. And then what we are going to do is, you see keyframes right here, right? This is how we're going to do the effect, okay? We're going to keyframe it right here. Yeah. That's where we're going to start keyframing. And then we come over to our end point, which we want to be the end of the clip. The clip in question is nine seconds. So what we want to do here is to proceed to drag this all the way over until it's off. I like to use the numbers here because you know sometimes it doesn't let you go exactly where you need to go on here and if you don't have this window visible just um you know click on the inspector button and there you go so now if we put our head back at the beginning uh and you know it plays totally like you know, we get to see the before and after. And if we had a quick trick, if you want it to go faster, uh, you would just make it end at the, like, different point. Like, say we wanted it to go faster, we'd probably end it at, like, the sixth second mark. Okay? And... There's an easy trick to doing this as well, which is click on the top clip, hit Control V as in Victor, and then it will pop that up there, and you can drag your final keyframe over to here, for example. So now, if we play it, from the beginning, it goes faster because the end point keyframe is there now instead of here. Now, of course, we could just be done here, but no, we want to add that fancy, you know, effect with the actual line. So what we will do is go to this, um, Titles tab, as I call it, and then scroll down 
two generators and then go down to solids um pick from well when i choose white and then put it over here this is actually smoky white we don't want smoky white we want to be bright white for the purpose of this come back here we don't want to cover the or thing either. So what we're going to do is under scale X, we just, you know, select the whole thing, change it to one. Okay, there we go. And then like that, scale X is set to one. Okay. Now comes the, uh, let's say, fun part, okay? Um, so what we are going to have to do is time this, basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this forward. One, two, two frames. Uh, let's go with, yeah, two frames. We want it to be exactly at the beginning. So two frames to time this just perfectly to it. Then we select this. We go ahead and, you know, move this here to cover this. And then this is the most time consuming part. There are actually easier ways to automate this, to make it a bit easier for you. But if you want the, you know, smoothest thing, you actually want to come and do it yourself. And what you want to do is you want to start a keyframe every few things every few like three or four frames what you're going to do is be moving this over it will automatically do the keyframe for you and then this is the result afterwards as you can see it smoothly go to it as you can see, this is a very time consuming way if you want to add that extra thing. If you don't want to add the extra bar though, it's perfectly fine just like this without the extra bar, I think. But, you know, just that extra bar will add that extra bit of flavor. But like I said, it can be quite time consuming to go on and move it every couple frames or whatnot. I chose four, but you could have probably chose five, six, seven uh, less frames you know, for keyframes, the tighter the effect is. Now, if you have a different method to do this or a uh, faster method feel free to let me know comment section below um but yeah this is a method no plugins whatsoever needed and hopefully you guys found it helpful in some way shape or form and i will catch you guys in the future later